Hey there guys, welcome to the review of Parallels Desktop 10. Today we're going to be going over all the major features and the features that I like personally. Now I first discovered Parallels Desktop, um, it was at version 8, after watching Chris Pillow go on and on about it on a live stream. Uh, they were giving away an iMac I believe, and I like the features that it had with Windows 8.1, 8, which was 8 at the time of course but a lot has changed from 8 to 9 to 10. Things have gotten better, performance has gotten better, and the features, there's more of them. It's got to be one of the only VM uh, programs that actually evolves on its features, which I like a lot. Most other VMs just try to improve upon uh, just performance, that's it. But this just adds features and performance. And it's it's really, really 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 good program to use first off I'd like to thank Parallels Desktops for letting me review this it means a lot as we are trying to grow this channel to be a better uh, more professional place uh, that's why I'm doing my my guides and things like that and trying to review as many many products as we possibly can so me and Alec are going to continue to do this and I like to thank those who have subscribed and for future subscribers thank you as well so first thing we're gonna talk about is battery life for you laptop users it has improved up to 30 percent and that is very very good news for you people that use VMs on the go uh, next is Windows documents they open up to 48 percent faster now this is good news for you business guys that are always on the go uh, when you got your Mac open and you're just like I have to create a Word document and you decide that you want to do it in Windows BAM popped open you know your documents open super fast um, Mac memory management so virtual machines use 10 percent less Mac memory uh, that is actually true Parallels Desktop is currently only using up to 255 and um, the RAM that I'm using in Windows 8.1 is up to a gig only. I find that very good. I have 16 gigs of uh, memory and I have 8 gigs of my RAM uh, dedicated to each VM so that's also very good. Uh, One-click tuning. So we're gonna go over one-click tuning here really really quickly and just give me half a second here and I'll drop an operating system in here. My HDD is kind of slow at reading what's in there because the, da the darn thing went to sleep. And here we go. Windows ISO and drop. Continue. Alright, so this is one click tuning. So, you can tune it for productivity, games only, design, or software development. Now that is one very useful feature, uh, and it helps you know what you want to do. Now, for games, games only require 8 gigs of RAM. So, you guys at Parallels have got to adjust that. Um, 8 gigs of RAM even 4 gigs of RAM run fine for gaming in the VM since you can't really do heavy gaming or anything next generation because uh, it does not support DirectX 11 as of yet but it will probably support DirectX 12 and hopefully Mantle soon in the future. Um, next is real-time virtual disk optimization. So we're gonna power this off just gotta click here real quick and we're gonna shut this down. Shutdowns are very fast. And we're gonna open up the settings here. And uh, we're gonna go to hard disk. Optimizations. Real time virtual disk optimizations. So we're gonna exit out of that. And then we're gonna turn the VM back on and wait for it to load. I really should turn off all the startup items because I use Linux. I use uTorrent to download Linux a lot of the time. So uh, there's that. And that always pops up. And this annoying tool that I use to edit BIOS is always pops up. So there's that. 
Next is for developers and IT pros. So you guys have a ton of features. Uh, I'd like to show you one. Modern IE, create a virtual test machine for that. That's pretty nifty. All right. So in version 10, you have linked clones. Fast, disk-based, efficient clones for virtual machines. Uh, a Vargan provider. 16V. Uh, so you get 16 CPUs if you want, 64 gigs of RAM, a nested virtualization for Linux and other Linux environments, create VEM from HDD, see what I mean? No, hit OK. Um, create a VM from an HDD, so that's very, very good. And uh, VMDK disks, so that's, uh, so virtual box disks and other disks, of course. Drag and drop in OS uh, X guests by popular demand. So there's that. All right. So there we go. This is another one that I like. Um, you're able to use the Windows 7 look. If you don't click that though. as you can see it pops up and if I log in again what's gonna happen is I'm getting get those annoying pop-ups so we're gonna exit coherence and we're gonna hit no on that and we're gonna go disable those because I do need to disable those startup items anyway disable disable and that's it so enter coherence. So this allows you to pop up the Windows uh, start screen on a single click. It's very fast and very clean and very fluid. So pretty cool, huh? All right. So next is Mac native save to in Windows. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Explorer item. We're gonna go with Internet Explorer. I'm going to click this and it should open up this one. We're going to find an image on Google to save. Uh, we're going to choose an Apple. Go to Images, Logos, Save picture as, and you can instantly save it here if you want, or you can go down here and save it on your mass your Mac disk. Uh, users, my name, documents, save. That's it, and that is now officially saved in here. Documents, Apple logo, pretty cool, huh? All right, so Mac native share from Windows. And again, we're going to go in here and we're going to grab this link. And then we're going to go to share and you can share on anything. Uh, you can add to reading list, share through an email link, through iMessage or messages, Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. That's going to become very useful for you VM users who want to share through Mac applications. Uh, launch pad for Windows 8.1 so as I said they made the launch pad they made the Windows start screen looks like launch pad see very useful uh, Windows apps are added to launch pad so if I installed an application it will instantly be added to right here but I haven't installed anything yet so and support for the three button mouse Yes, I use a G600, so I have 20 buttons on my mouse, and I can say to you, Parallels, a 20-button mouse works. Not only a 3-button mouse, but a 20-button mouse. So be proud about that. And those are the new features. Let's talk performance, shall we? Um, this is much faster than Parallels Desktop 9 was. 
Uh, it's got better performance, better overall RAM man management and CPU management. Um, installing things has been a ton easier. Uh, finally, I've been able to install OS X 10.9 and 10.10 .10 in a VM successfully. Uh, and I have a video already on my channel how to do that. It also works for 10.9, so you guys can go check that out. Um, the VMware management is amazing. You could adjust your VM to your settings that you want. Uh, I used to always use VMware, and thanks to Chris, I found a better solution. And thanks to Parallels Desktop for making this better solution. It means a lot. So, in my opinion, this is a 10 out of a 10. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed the pun as well. Uh, it's the perfect software for VMs. Uh, some people like open source, so they go for VirtualBox. Uh, go for this. It's a paid product, so what you're going to get is you're going to get great support, and you're going to get tons of bug fixes. And I don't, and it's great for business as well. Even my friend Brock wants to get his business inclined with this so that he can use it for other great applications. And I agree, he definitely should. He's given up VMware for this because uh, he also likes the performance and everything. So, yeah, I give this product a 10 out of 10. Definitely worth the download. Uh, it currently costs 79.95. And if you want to upgrade from 8 or 9, it will cost you forty nine ninety five, which is which is still a good price. So thank you guys for watching. Do remember to like, subscribe, and um, you know, follow us on Twitter. Go follow Parallels Desktop on Twitter. And I hope you guys enjoy your day. Bye guys.